Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about how to determine the distance of a straight line from a point. In this diagram, I have a straight line L whose equation is AX plus BY plus C equals 0 and I have a point P whose coordinates are X sub 1 comma Y sub 1 and we have to find out the distance of the straight line from P. That means the perpendicular distance from P to the straight line, which is PS. Let's suppose that if we drop a perpendicular onto the straight line, we land on the straight line at point S. So we have to find out what is the distance PS. In other words, we have to find out what is the length of the line segment PS. First, let's try to find out the coordinates of R and Q, the two intercepts. R is the X intercept and Q is the Y intercept. So let's try to find out the coordinates of R and Q. Now the equation of the straight line is like this. It is A times X, AX plus B times Y plus C equals 0. Now for X intercept, we can use Y equals 0 and when Y equals 0, this becomes for X intercept, this becomes AX plus B times 0 plus C is equal to 0 and from here we get AX is equal to negative C and from here we can say then X must be equal to negative C over A. So then the coordinates of R would be negative C over A comma 0 and I have noted that right below the point R. Now let's also find the coordinates of Q. Well Q is the Y intercept. So for Y intercept we should use X equals 0 and when you use X equals 0 then the same equation is going to look like this. A times 0 plus B times Y plus C is equal to 0 and from here B times Y is equal to negative C and from here Y would be equal to negative C over B. So the coordinates of Q would be 0 comma negative C over B and I have noted that under the point Q. Now we are going to use the formula for area of a triangle using the coordinates of its three vertices. So let's first create the triangle here right. So I am now going to create a nice little triangle here. Here we can see the triangle PQR and we are going to calculate the area of this triangle in two different ways and then we are going to equate them to find the length of the line segment PS right. The first formula that we know is that the area of a triangle is half into base into height. So in that case we can say area of the triangle PQR. So I am going to write it here. We can say area equals half into base. In this case we are going to use QR as the base. So QR would be the base into height. Height would be PS because that's the perpendicular from P onto the straight line right. So PS would be the height. So this is one way of calculating the area of this triangle. Now we are going to find out the distance QR or the length of the line segment QR. Using the distance formula we can say then this would be half times QR. For QR we are going to use the distance formula right. So let's use the distance formula. Let's assume this is X sub 2 and this is Y sub 2 the coordinates of the point Q and similarly let's assume the coordinates of the pointer to be X sub 3 and Y sub 3. So QR would be X sub 3 minus X sub 2 whole square plus Y sub 3 minus Y sub 2 whole square and times we have the PS also so I am going to say multiply it by PS that's the area of this triangle and then from here we can say well I am keeping half times PS right here I am going to write the PS at the front times within the square root I am going to now substitute the values so X sub 3 minus X sub 2 so that would be negative C over A minus 0 whole square plus y sub 3 minus y sub 2 so that would be 0 minus negative c over b so we can say plus c over b whole square and that will be equal to half times ps times square root of c squared over a squared plus c squared over b squared and from here we can say this is equal to half times ps times square root of we can take c squared as a common factor out then it would be 1 over a squared plus 1 over b squared and then we can say this is equal to half times ps times square root of c squared and then the LCM would be a squared times b squared and then in the numerator we are going to get b squared plus a squared and from here we can say this is equal to half times ps times square root of c squared over a squared b squared and times a squared plus b squared and we can say that this is equal to half times p 
fps times if we take out c squared over a squared times b squared outside of the square root then that would be modulus of c over ab times square root of a squared plus b squared and we can also write it as ps times modulus of c over 2 times ab i am just bringing the 2 in the denominator inside the modulus sign and then times square root of a square plus b square so this is the area of the triangle using the first formula and we are now going to calculate the area of the triangle using another formula and then finally we will equate both the areas to calculate the value of ps now let's make a quick note of the coordinates of the three vertices of the triangle so we had point p whose coordinates were noted as x sub 1 comma y sub 1 and then we had point q whose coordinates were noted as 0 comma negative c over b and then we had the point r whose coordinates were noted as negative c over a comma 0 and let's assume that the coordinates of q are kind of like x sub 2 comma y sub 2 and coordinates of r let's say this is x sub 3 comma y sub 3 now we are going to use the formula for area of a triangle using the coordinates of its vertices and that area formula is like this i have already created a separate video on this i have shared the link in the description feel free to watch that video now let's substitute the coordinates of the three vertices here so we can write it as half times modulus of x sub 1 i am keeping it as is because that's the x coordinate of the first vertex p and then for y sub 2 i am going to use negative c over b and then minus for y sub 3 i am going to use 0 plus for x sub 2 I am going to use 0 times y sub 3 would be 0 minus y sub 1 would be just y sub 1 I am going to write it like this plus x sub 3 for x sub 3 I am going to use negative c over a times y sub 1 would remain as y sub 1 minus y sub 2 would be negative c over b now let's simplify this so this will be half times modulus of negative c times x sub 1 over b plus 0 of course i'm just not writing it the middle term the second term is becoming zero because the whole thing is multiplied by zero there and then the third term will become negative c times y sub 1 over a and then also we are going to get another negative c squared over a b now i'm going to multiply each term inside the modulus sign by a negative one since the entire quantity is within the modulus sign we can easily multiply by a negative one that will not change the value so then we can say this can be written as as half times modulus of positive c times x sub 1 over b plus positive c times y sub 1 over a plus positive c squared over a times b and then if we take c as a common factor out then we can write it as half times modulus of here let's say c is out of there then we have x sub 1 over b plus y sub 1 over a plus c over a b now can we write it like this this can be written as half times modulus of c times within parenthesis lcm would be a times b so the first term would become a times x sub 1 and the second term would become b times y sub 1 and the third term will become c and we can write this as half times modulus of we can say c over a times b times we have a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c and then if we bring the c over a b if we bring that factor outside then we can write it as half times modulus of c over a times b times modulus of a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c and this can be written as modulus of c over 2 times a b i am just bringing the 2 in the denominator inside the modulus sign 2 is already a positive number so we can easily bring it inside the modulus sign without any problem and then times a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c so here we have found the area of the triangle using this other formula which kind of looks like this now let's equate both the values first we found the area of the triangle like this that is ps times modulus of c over 2 times ab times square root of a squared plus b squared so let me first make a note of that that was the area of the triangle using the first method and now we have found the area of the triangle using the second method which is equal to modulus of c 
सी ओवर टू टाइम्स ए बी टाइम्स मॉड्यूल ऑफ ए टाइम्स एक्स सब वन प्लस बी टाइम्स वाई सब वन प्लस सी and now you can easily see these two factors will cancel each other from both sides if we divide both sides by that factor that factor will disappear so now we are going to be left with ps equals modulus of a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c over square root of a square plus b square and that is our answer that's exactly what we are trying to find out so the distance of the point p from the straight line is actually modulus of a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c over square root of a square plus b square now let's take a quick example suppose you have a straight line whose equation is like this let's say 3 times x plus 4 times y is equal to 1 and we have to find the distance of that straight line from the point let's say we have a point p whose coordinates are 7 comma 8 now to find the distance we know the distance formula is like this i mean the distance of a line from a point that formula right so that is like this it is actually modulus of a times x sub 1 plus b times y sub 1 plus c over square root of a square plus b square now we have to understand what are this a b c and x sub 1 and y sub 1 right so this is actually x sub 1 and this is y sub 1 and then this is a and this is b and in this case because 1 is on the other side of the equal sign if we bring it to the left hand side then c will be the negative 1 so we can actually write this as 3 times x plus 4 times y minus 1 equals 0 we have to write it in this form then this negative 1 is actually the c so c is actually negative 1 so now let's substitute the values well that would be modulus of a is actually positive 3 so that would be 3 times x sub 1 which is 7 plus b is actually positive 4 times y sub 1 is actually 8 plus c is actually negative 1 over square root of a square plus b square so that would be square root of 3 square plus 4 square and that would be equal to modulus of we have 3 7 is 21 plus 4 8 is 32 Minus one over this is square root of twenty five, which is actually five. So here we can say, well, this is actually modulus of twenty one plus thirty two. That's fifty three minus one. That's fifty two. Then so modulus of fifty two over five. That is actually fifty two over five, and that would be ten plus two over five. So many units, right? That's the distance of the straight line from the point seven comma eight. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.